Thanks for staying on the program. Now, five persons have been poisoned to death. The five, including four children, are believed to have died after eating gari lace with rodenticides. The suspect, Mauta Hobo, is currently in the grips of the police. Let's get detail of the story from our Western Regional Correspondent, William Benjamin Peters. Hello, William. Hello, William. Hello, Kemini. Where exactly did this take place in the Western region? Yeah, the unfortunate incident took place at uh, Jomoro, uh, Hapatin in the Jomoro district. That's where the incident took place, Jomoro. Mm. But what more can you tell us about this? How did it happen? Yeah, it, it, it's quite unfortunate, but my investigations reveal that the suspect, that is uh, Mauto, did this unfortunate act just to get back to her former girlfriend. According to the investigation that I did, uh, he's saying that the girl guilted him. The girl left him for another person. So in, in a way of revenging, he went and ambushed himself in, in the girl's room without the, the girl's presence. And then he, he took undue advantage of her absence. Then she, he, he going there with that uh, poisonous chemical, that is the rodenticide. He leaves it with the gary that he found in the girl's room, and he, then he left. So the girl came in and she uh, innocently uh, ate the gary together with the four other kids who are in the same house with the girl. And after taking the gary, the unfortunate thing happened that they, all of them lost their lives. Mm, I see. We'll, we'll leave it here for now. Thank you very much. But I'm also joined by uh, the police in the area. Uh, thanks for joining us here, uh, Augustine, uh, Superintendent Augustine Anyara. Hello, Superintendent. My name is Superintendent John Ferguson. Right. Um, I'm sorry about that, Superintendent. Uh, but tell us, what do we know about the suspect? Um, currently, the suspect is in our custody and we are putting him before court. Hmm. All that your correspondent told is correct. But w w what do we know about him, this young man? Who is he? What does he do? How old is he? He's 34 years and a fisherman. Mm. In a community at uh, half as many called Jawe, a fishing community. That mm. is all I know about them. Mm. I see. Now, what what is the police doing about this? Obviously, you're going to investigate. But what was the what's the very next step you're taking on this? Now, currently, we are putting in the focus. The autopsy will be done. Doctor to be prepared and sent to AG's office for study and advice. The advice that comes is what we will comply with. Mm, I see. Uh, thank you very much, Superintendent, for your time. Superintendent Ferguson Jinoku uh, joined us from the Jomor District Police Command. So that's it with uh, some children who became collateral damage because a bitter ex-lover decided to poison his girlfriend. Now, oh, really sad there. But let's talk about something else, and uh, we'll do that in a bit when I come back. Don't go away. Thank you.